About a week ago, I released Garden of Banban Reincarnated, a fan-made project to recreate the original Garden of Banban in under a week with zero game experience. The amount of support you guys have given the game has been amazing, and I wanted to make a video talking about the future of the game. You may notice right now that you cannot download the game. I want to be 100% clear. The Euphoric Brothers, the original creators of the game, did not take down the game. A few days ago, I got an email from the brothers saying, hey, could you please take Garden of Ban Ban out of the name and take the logo out of the game, which I totally get. Apparently, a lot of people were confusing Garden of Ban Ban Reincarnated as an actual official project. When I released the game, I didn't think this would be an issue. Similar to Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, where they kept the original game's name in their title, I thought it was kind of a common thing to leave the original name in. But I also completely understand the confusion that, okay, if the logos look almost identical with a couple of changes and it has the name that's my bad <laughs> and i want to be completely clear the brothers were super cool and very nice about this request so to avoid any further confusion with the two games getting mixed up i took down the game immediately and changed the title of the itch.io and the game jolt pages so going forward this project is just going to be called reincarnated so what does this all mean for the future of the game right now i'm hand going through and removing any instances of the logo in the game title screens, on secret notes in the game, on the walls in the game. We use this logo a fair amount, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to take everything down. And you also have to keep in mind, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a streamer, I'm a full-time college student. While this is a top priority to get the game back up, you're gonna have to understand that I have a lot of other stuff going on in my life as well, so I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible for you guys. Once I finally get the game scrubbed clean, we're gonna be releasing a new update. Now this update is just gonna have the logos removed and a couple of little optimization things. Things. I haven't had a ton of time to go through and like really optimize the game to get it to like a release level, but I have noticed that I've gone from 30 FPS on ultra settings to 60 FPS on my PC, so that's a pretty big jump. Again, it still runs like crap, but hey, it's getting better. Now on to the big question you guys have about the game. Are you doing chapter two? What are you doing chapter two? I talked about this in my original development video, but let's be completely clear. If I do decide to make a chapter two, it's gonna have to be completely different from Garden of Ban Ban 2 so that we aren't just making a free version of a game. That's not fair to the original creators. They made a game. Me creating a free version of it is kind of messed up and also very illegal. So the game would require a brand new story brand new character redesigns, brand new mechanics, brand new setting, brand new layout. Everything would have to be changed. The only way we could get around that is if the Euphoric Brothers decided to pull a Scott Cawthon and like did a Garden of Ban Ban fan verse where they like approved of us and like used our designs and merch or whatever. But obviously that's not gonna happen and I don't expect it to. So everything would have to be made completely new. So instead of working on a chapter two for now, I am proud to announce that development has begun on a brand new indie mascot horror game developed by the exact same team that made Reincarnated. We are so excited about this new project and I hope you guys are too. Unfortunately, I can't give any details about the game quite yet because again, and it's in its early phases. But I believe with everything that I learned from Reincarnated and the, everything the team has learned from Reincarnated, we can create a game that is so much better than what we did in Reincarnated, especially with a little bit bigger of a time frame. If you guys wanna be among the first to get information about this new game, be sure to subscribe here on the channel, join the Discord with the link in the description, and be sure to follow me on Twitter. I know for a fact that once we start seeing stuff develop for this game, I'm going to go crazy posting teaser pictures, so, so get ready for that. So does this mean that Reincarnated is completely scrapped. Well, not exactly. Because I'm a new game developer and because that project was only made in a week, there is a lot of stuff that I still wanna do with it. End of the day for me, it's a passion project and there's a lot of little things and big changes I wanna make, but I just don't want it to be our top priority right now. There's a lot of gameplay changes that I've already taken major critiques from a bunch of big YouTubers on, optimizations so that lower end PCs could run the game. And of course, completely redoing the chase sequence because why in the world is it still the back rooms? All of these changes and more I still wanna make, and I think it would be fun to do them live on Twitch. So keep an eye out on my Twitch streams because every once in a while we'll do small development streams and make tweaks and changes to Reincarnated, hopefully with more videos videos and updates coming out about it soon. So here's the roadmap. Reincarnated will be re-uploaded here in the next couple of days with all of the logos removed and a couple of optimization fixes. 
From there, we're gonna be dedicating our time to create a brand new game. And I'll try to have as much information for you guys as soon as possible on that. And of course, I'm still a YouTuber and streamer. So we're gonna be continuing to make a lot of awesome content here on YouTube based on streams over on Twitch. My Singing Monsters, Friday Night Funkin' Mods, indie games, whatever you guys wanna see me play, leave a comment down below and let me know. Just a couple days ago, we played Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 for the first time ever. So that'll be a video here on the channel in the next few days. This is really a new era for my channel. And if you guys are just coming from the Garden of Ban Ban stuff, it's an honor to meet you. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support we got with Reincarnated. And I hope that even though it isn't Garden of Ban Ban, you'll stick with us and see what we have cooking for our next project. Because trust me, the ideation and design phase has been amazing so far. Thank you so much for your time. Take care of yourselves and have yourselves a damn good one.